We go to an exhibition next at Tsinghua University Art Museum that's putting the spotlight on Chinese architect Liang Sicheng. Liang is known as a pioneer of architectural history, cultural heritage protection, and urban planning. He was also instrumental in creating the blueprint for China's modern capital. Behind me, you can see the Dexian Gate, one of Beijing's challenges resulting from a large-scale urban regeneration of the old city. Although the proposal was not realized, it remains relevant to the present day. There are some important documents in this exhibition, two of which are particularly valuable: a list of important Chinese ancient architectural relics Liang gave to the American army during the War of Resistance against Japan, and a similar list given to the People's Liberation Army during the Chinese Civil War. They aim to help avoid the destruction of ancient relics during the war. This was important for the preservation of ancient buildings in China. The first cultural relic listed on the 1949 Compendium of Architectural Relics of National Importance is Beijing City. This shows how important it was for Liang to protect the ancient city. There are now ancient cities in Europe that are UNESCO World Heritage sites, but Liang's idea of preserving Beijing as a whole in 1949 was ahead of his time. As a pioneer of cultural heritage protection, Liang never ran away from challenges. His concept of restoring the old as the old has been a model and principle followed by the conservation community for a long time. Here in this exhibition hall, we can also find the protection and repair plans by Liang Sicheng on various famous heritages, including the Wenyuan Library in the Forbidden City in Beijing and the Temple of Confucius in Qufu, Shandong Province. Liang's ideas on urban planning and cultural heritage conservation were actually ahead of his time. In this exhibition, we present historical documents and let people make their own judgments. I think this is the best way to teach people about their cultural heritage. The Beijing municipal government recently approved the 